Did you know that bad SEO marketing will cost you far more than any good SEO could ever bring in? The temptation to do a quick fix and get a boost in rankings is always there, but it's really one that you need to resist. Poor SEO can do far more damage to your site's overall rankings and reputation. Are there things you could be doing to damage your site's rankings without even realizing it? Here I've got five SEO strategies you need to avoid at all costs. First one is spamming keywords. Ensuring that you have the right keywords in your articles is a vital part of SEO strategy. Using words that people are searching for when they're trying to find your product or service just makes sense and helps you get seen on the search engines. However, it quickly becomes a bad strategy when you're overstuffing keywords into your text. They should occur and flow naturally in your articles without feeling too spammy. Don't be tempted to cram a lot of search terms into any article because the search engines can actually penalize you for that. You also don't want to cram them into behind the scene things like meta descriptions and meta keywords, which aren't even used anymore. And you don't want to cram them unnaturally into headings and other things on the page. Google is moving more towards natural language processing. And so you need to use keywords in a way that would authentically flow. Number two is poor quality backlinks. As well as a strong keyword strategy, a good backlink strategy is an essential part of your search engine optimization. You need to create a strong backlink profile with high quality, trustworthy sites, primarily by creating content that other people want to share. But if you don't build a good backlink profile, and instead you're tempted to buy backlinks from questionable sources, this will negatively impact your SEO. Using link farms to spam decks, your site is a black hat SEO strategy that will result in penalties from search engines. Google's own John Mueller, who talks a lot about Google search algorithms in his posts and videos and articles, has even said that it's better to have one quality backlink than it is to have hundreds of ones that aren't as good. So you need to focus on the quality in your backlink strategy. And if you have a lot of spammy backlinks out there, you may wanna revisit that and actually remove some of them. Number three, duplicate content. Duplicated content occurs in two ways on a website. One is using other people's website content on your site. And the other is duplicating your own content. Plagiarism is frowned upon by content creators and search engines alike. Nobody likes people who steal other people's content and claim it as their own. This includes changing it only very slightly and making a small edit. The big problem is with a search engine, they're going to completely ignore that content. So it's going to be like you never went through the effort at all. There's no point in you wasting effort on something that's not going to work. And at some point, they could actually penalize your website. You also need to be careful about your own content and not having duplicate versions of the same exact content on your website or on a sister site. It just confuses Google. If you have two pages with the exact same content, it doesn't know which one to send people to, and it might send it to neither one. All of your content needs to be individual, unique content to get a thumbs up from the search engines and improve your rankings. This also includes one of the biggest mistakes I see, duplicated websites within your own business where the content is very similar. For the most part, you should have one website unless you have completely different products or services. And then each one should be under their own subdomain or separate domain, but they should never overlap. You don't want to compete with yourself for SEO. Problem number four is having no internal links. As part of your SEO content marketing strategy, you want to be building relationships within your own site. We talked about your backlink strategy with other sites to boost your backlink profile, but you don't want to forget boosting that within your own site. Internal linking and creating a solid cross-referencing system within your own site is just as important as your external link building. Internal links 
help allow your visitors to navigate your site easier and it can help Google understand how topics are related within your site. Build links to pages that are in the same topic clusters and possibly build one central pillar or hub page. This strengthens the relationships between the links and can help your SEO strategy. And number five, technical errors. As you create more content on your site and make changes to your website, technical errors are bound to start happening in the background. This could be things like broken links, missing meta descriptions or alt tags on images or other problems on the page. Some of those technical errors actually take away from the user experience. And we mentioned how Google's really big on that on page user experience now. So that can penalize your site a little bit. Make sure you fix any technical errors as you go along and not just do it one time at the beginning of your search engine optimization. You wanna check those types of things fairly regularly, even if it's only once per quarter. Be sure you're using all white hat SEO strategies. The strategies actually change over the years and something that was considered a common practice five, 10 years ago could now be gray hat in a questionable area or black hat and actually get you penalized. So you want to stay on top of those strategies or have an expert do it for you so that you're only using current best practices. One of the things we're most proud of is that the clients we've been doing SEO for the longest with each Google change, their results actually only improve. They're not getting penalized. And that, that lets us know that the strategies we've put in place are strong and withstand the test of time. So be sure you revisit regularly what is considered a current best practice and make sure you're not doing things that have fallen out of favor. SEO is a long-term organic process. You may not see results immediately, but if you keep at it, you'll see those results start to build and snowball. If you're not sure where to start, we have a free SEO audit that you can request. We'll run through a technical audit of your website and tell you some things that you need to focus on currently to get that base layer of your SEO at a strong point. And from there, you'll be able to build. You can request that free SEO audit at the link you'll find below in the description. Or if you visit our website under our resources tab, you'll find it there. While you're here, check out our other videos and subscribe to our channel so that you never miss the latest marketing tips.